I'm Tobias. Um, and on this channel, I want to start talking about uh, mental health, lifestyle things, technology, and a little bit about my journey. And my main goal is to connect with people who are like-minded, who have the same interests as me, um, aspirations and goals, and, you know, just build a community where we can share resources and, you know, just build and, you know, just share viewpoints and stuff like that. But uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, my journey into cybersecurity um, and how I got here. I'm a SOC analyst now. Um, so when I, when I got started, um, I will, I'll take it back from the top. So, um, one weekend I was on a, uh, trip in Chicago with my brother-in-law and my sister. And, um, you know, me and my brother-in-law, we were, we were talking and he was just asking me like what I wanted to do long term. And I had no idea on what I really wanted to do long term. So, you know, he was kind of telling me about cybersecurity. He works in cybersecurity. So, you know, I listened, you know, and he told me about how it's really lucrative. It, it's fun. It's not too hard of work. And at the time I was working, um, I was working uh, at a factory and I really wasn't really happy there. I wasn't really happy with what I was doing. I just felt like I just needed to be doing something different. So he was talking to me about cybersecurity and um, uh telling me about certifications that you can get if you don't want to go through the traditional like you know four-year university path and all that kind of stuff so um shortly after that i ended up ordering my security plus study guide and i studied for the security plus um exam um it, it um er, the 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 um the concepts were kind of challenging because i was completely green and I mean completely green, like I had no uh, prior certifications, no experience. I knew a little bit about computers, but I didn't know too much. So um, I studied for this exam and I studied and I studied, but I was kind of going back and forth because I really had wanted to do something that would just allow me to have freedom. So I was kind of doing, I was studying stock trading and I was I was trading as well. But, you know, with trading, that's a hit or miss. So, you know, some days you're green, some days you're red. And I had a lot of back and forth. So I was, I was really breaking even. So I was like, I'll take a break. So I began to study even harder for the Security Plus. But at this time, I didn't even know how to study. Like, learning how to study is a skill within itself. Um, and that's something that I don't really think, like, public schools teach you, like, how to study. I think we're just, like, they just give us, like, all right, here go English, here go math, and here go the here go some shit about, you know, something that people who live two hundred years ago, you know, stuff like that. But I don't really think it tells you like how to learn because I think it's very subjective. Like the way that I learn may be different from the way that somebody else learns, right? So, um, uh, it was it was kind of challenging and I don't know why, but I, I guess I felt like I was ready. I had a lot going on at the time, but I, I guess I was just ready to leave my sit my um situation at that time. So um what happened was is I scheduled my exam for like January nineteenth of twenty twenty two. Um and I had terrible brain fog going into that exam. I didn't know what was going on, but my brain fog was terrible. So um, I went in there, um, and I, I it was like one of those exams where like you think you you think you fail in this shit like that, and come to find out, I was, I was. So the minimum pass the score for the security plus is seven fifty, and I had scored like a seven twenty seven. So. I wasn't really too defeated because I'm not I'm not really somebody who gives up easily. So I was like, um I was like, you know what? I'll just study even harder. And that's what I did. So I took a couple courses on course era, um, the IT fundamentals for cybersecurity. The IT fundamentals for cybersecurity. And then um later on that year I studied even harder, uh, in August tenth of twenty twenty Two is when I passed.
uh, the security plus, and I passed up like two points, but like a pass is a pass nonetheless. So I was like, I was, bro, that was like one of the happiest days of my life because I really felt like, I really felt like I had earned my spot in cybersecurity. Like I felt like, all right, now I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Like some like a initiation ritual or a ceremony or something. So that was that, and you know. A lot of the times early on when you first starting out, you think a certification means that you're job ready. Nah, it don't mean that. Not at all. So I started applying, 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 and I actually had landed an interview with a company. Um, we did the initial phone screening. That was cool. Passed that. But the second round, I had to um, do a presentation with using a, a a SIM tool called Splunk to investigate some logs to come to uh, a conclusion about what I think uh, happened. So, and I only had like a couple of days to prepare for that and I was completely green. So I really, I barely knew how to use Splunk at the time. Um, so I didn't end up getting in that job. I didn't. Um, but like I said, I'm not somebody who gives up easily. So I started labbing. Um, I started labbing really hard using sites like TryHackMe. Um, yeah, at the time I was just using TryHackMe. I didn't start using Let's Defend until actually this year. So we're still in 2022 at this point. So I'm labbing and, uh, uh, me and my friend was talking about getting into gaming. So, um, we were talking about getting into gaming and, so I was like, okay, it'd be cool to build a, a PC. But now I was going to get into it for gaming, but this would be this. I was like, that'd be great for like just, you know, skills and troubleshooting. And just, I think everybody should be able to build a PC at least once. Like it's, it's easy. It's pretty much easy. It's just, it's easy, but it can be challenging. I won't just say it's, it's all the way easy, but it can be challenging. So, um, I built the PC. Um, I kept on applying. I kept on applying. Now, we're, now we're getting ready to come into 2023. But I had a feeling like this year was gonna be different, right? Like I just felt like this year was different. Like I came into the year, like I I had interview after interview. Like I just knew the I just knew this year was gonna be different. I came into the 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 year with like two three interviews like lined up. So I'm like, man, one of these got one of these jobs is gonna bite. But um, one of them was for help desk, and one of them for was for a, a IT field technician position. Now I I really wanted to get into cyber, but I was just like, uh, I was like, you know, I, maybe I maybe I'll take one of these jobs and then I'll pivot later on. Um. And that's the big thing, man. Whenever you have your mind set out for something, man, don't settle. Because I was getting ready to settle and take one of those jobs, but I had spent so much time studying for uh, the Security Plus exam. I was like, man, I want to get into cyber. I didn't just spend all that time studying to get on a help desk or to be a, a field tech, which not, n nothing's wrong with either of those positions, but it's just not what I wanted, right? So um, I didn't get... Um, the help this job i didn't get the field tech job and i was like okay well i'm gonna just keep doing what i do right boom um my current um my current manager ended up calling me one day um but i was busy and he left me a voicemail and it was like it was for a sock a sock analyst position so i was like okay i'm like so i called him back immediately so um uh we set up something we, we kind of you know kind of got to know me a little bit over the phone and we set up an interview and then uh fast forward you know the interview came um it had went well you know uh i, I really liked the things that they were talking about i really liked the company and um um a couple of days later um i i received the offer and that's kind of like kind of been my journey um, as far as how I got into cybersecurity, um, it's a, it, it was a long road, like it was a long road, but it's really fulfilling, man. I really love what I do. Like, honestly, like I really like what I do. I like my company. I like my team. Um, I like the work that I'm doing. I'm like, 
I, I like learning. I'm I'm a person who's all about growth, right? And so this industry is ever changing and, and ever you're ever gonna be learning. Um, you're always gonna be learning. Like there's always gonna be something new, some new technology coming out. So that aligns with me perfectly because I'm all about personal growth. As you can see the bookcase in my back, like I have a lot of books. So I'm always reading and learning. So um I think it was meant, you know, I think it's I think it was meant for me, me being me and having the personality that I have and the aspirations and all being all about growth. And that's all what tech and cybersecurity is, is just it's ever changing. So it's like it's kind of like we're going to be growing together in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of that's kind of my my journey so far into the field. Um, and I love it. You know, maybe I'll I think I'll make a video about um, like where I am now as far as like being on a job because now I'm like I'm getting ready to be five months in now so um, I'll talk about some of the, the struggles that I had some of the things that's essential for aspiring SOC analysts and you know where I want to take my career and stuff like that but that's pretty much where I am now um, whoever finds this video again you know if you're uh, looking to get started in cybersecurity um or IT in general, you know, let's just connect, you know, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I'm going to be, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be really, you know, giving out tips and gems and uh, resources that people can use to, um, you know, maybe help them get in. So, again, I'm Tobias, man. I don't know who watching this, um, but if if you find this, I hope this video finds you well, and I hope it does what it's supposed to do, and I hope it inspires you, um, and I hope you stick around. Peace.